to uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to make a GIF. Um, the main thing I want you to get from this is what we do with the layer mask. We're going to actually paste a black and white image into the layer mask, which because layer masks deal with uh, sh different shades of uh, black and white, depending on what is erased and what's not, um, it's a nice little way that you can add text or a black and white photograph um, and make that layer mask only show certain areas that are based off that either text or photograph um but anyway so uh we're gonna we're gonna get started right here by going over here if you can see where my cursor is at right over here to the channels um we want to click on the red channel we're going to hit control a which is the shortcut for select all and we're going to go control c which is the shortcut for copy. And then we're going to click back on the RGB channel and we're going to go back to the layers. So it should be back in color. Um, and then we're going, we're going to go to file open. And there are a couple things that you are also going to need throughout this um, assignment. Uh, one's a PSD of a plane, the clouds, which we started out with. And then this one up here, which will come in a little bit later is a clouds ABR file. So if you have all those downloaded, that's fine. You can download them as you go through. Uh, but right now, the next one is going to be the plain PSD. So we're gonna open that up. It's going to open up in a new tab. So right up here, we see we have two tabs. We're gonna click on the move tool and we're going to click on the plane so that it's moving around. And we are not going to let go of the left mouse click until we're going to highlight up here. We still do not let go. We're not going to let go until we drag back down and we see the plus symbol. From here, too, we can also go ahead and hit Control D, which is the shortcut for deselect. Um, so we have our plane in here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to add a layer mask. Um, and from this, we're going to hold Alt on the keyboard and we're going to left click on the thumbnail of the layer mask right here. It should all go uh, blank white. And we're going to hit control V, which is a shortcut for paste. Then control D for deselect. And then we're going to hit control I, which is a shortcut for invert. Now we see the, the blacks became whites and then the whites became blacks. Um, so that's what we mean by inverting it. Uh, and now we're going to do control L, which is a shortcut for levels. Um, and then right here, these are the two numbers that we're going to change. So the first one is going to be 70, which is going to up our shadows. And then the last one is going to be 160, which is going to up our highlights, creating that nice contrast. And then now we'll go ahead and hit OK. And if we click back over here on the thumbnail the layer we see that the plane is now behind the clouds uh we are also going to click on this link in between the two we do not want that to be uh linked because we want to be able to move the plane without moving the layer mask so from here what we want to do is make sure that we highlight the thumbnail of the layer mask and we want to click on we want to click on the keyboard the forward slash button the uh one right above enter it should go pink uh this is a quick mask view this is the areas that are showing that are being uh ignored or erased um and then what we want to do is we want to take our brush and we're going to go maybe a size 25 brush hardness zero we're going to change this opacity Let's go uh, 30, 30%. And then what we can do now is we can start to, with white on top, make sure that we're on the thumbnail of the layer mask. We're going to paint over some of the pink, not all of it, but maybe just some of it. And then what that is going to do is going to add some depth. You can change the size of your brush if you want to make it a little bit bigger for areas. Um, by using the right bracket. And so when we do this, it is going to add 
a little bit of depth. Um, now, if we click back over here, now we see that some of the plane is still behind the clouds and some of it is in front. So now it looks like it's going through those clouds. Um, now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is create a new layer. Um, and then the last thing that we need to upload is the ABR file or the Adobe Brush file. Um, so we're going to click right here uh, into a, like our brush picker menu. And then we want to, so that drops down and then we're going to come over here to the little gear wheel. We're going to click on that and we're going to go to load brushes. Um, now it'll probably be in your downloads folder, but when you click on there, it should be the only thing that shows up. We see right here, it says clouds and right over here, type ABR file. Um, so we're going to go ahead and double click on that or click on it once and load. And it's going to be right here at the very bottom. Uh, and you should see like a 225. So we're going to click on that. We're going to change that size to be seven and we can hit enter. Now we're gonna hit D so that we make sure that our uh, our swatch menu is black and white. And then on the top swatch, which should be the black one, uh, we are going to click on, click on that swatch. And what that will do, we will bring up this menu and we're gonna click six Ds. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It should be like a light gray. So after we have that, we're gonna hit okay. And we have our brush, we have the right, um, right brush that we want to use the colors so now what we need to do is hold shift actually we need to last thing we need to make sure is that we change the opacity back to 100 percent and then we're going to hold shift does not matter where you draw this line as long as there's a new layer um, we're going to hold shift click and then drag across so we should have something like this now we're going to add a layer mask to this we're going to click on the gradient tool and we want it to be white to black. So it should be right up here. Um, so it should go from white to black. Uh, and we're going to hold shift, click and drag over that same area. And it should fade out at the right side of it. If it does not, um, then you just have to uh, reverse that. Um, and then what we're going to do after we make that, we are going to click on the trash can and we're going to hit apply. And then the next step is a nice little trick. We're going to copy this layer mask from layer one up to layer two. By doing that, we're going to hold alt, click on the thumbnail of the layer mask and drag up. We should see like two mouse cursors right here. And we're going to drag up until it highlights the layer above it. And now we have the same exact layer mask copied on to both layers. What you want to do next is click on the move tool. And this part, Photoshop has shifted um, its settings a little bit. So you have to make sure that you do click on that cloud trail. Um, and then once you have that, you're going to move it. And we're going to go ahead and put it right behind uh the engines and you can use the arrows on your keyboards for the micro movements once you have that put into place hold shift and highlight the layer below it so we should have both layer one and two highlighted and then we're going to click on this link button which is going to be in the bottom left side of our layers palette um, now if we highlight just one layer they both still move so along the same lines of making a group um once you have that we are going to go ahead and hold shift click on the plane and move it over all the way off to the right um and we will continue the animation part in part two